Hello everybody and welcome to my video. Today's video is going to show you how to set up and mine in this Bitcoin pool which is Bitcoin.uk. It's a new pool, it has zero fees and it's, it was posted on the, the Bitcoin Twitter account. As you can see here, this is the Bitcoin Twitter account, this is their new Twitter and it's, sh it's showcased right here. I'm sorry if, if that kind of blurred out. And so as you if you go on to here by Quinta UK, this is the system hash rate at the moment and the blocks found four minutes ago. This is actually my personal one right now. This is my wallet right here. And I've been mining this for about a good few days. I started on the thirteenth and today's the seventeenth now. And I've mined so far almost 1,764 by coin. Actually, a little bit more up here too with the pending balance, but I've been paid this much amount right here. And my average hash rate it, it fluctuates. It goes from 600 down to the lows down of uh, 300, and right now I'm actually at 22, 227. I'm only mining with my laptop and my CPU right now at the moment. Here, let me run. That's a different program. As you can see here, this is the program I'm using at the moment, and I'll show you guys how to set this up. And the weird thing about this one compared to mining gate it, it has is that the fact that it changes difficulty over time and it increases. If, it, if I push hash rate, my average hash rate in the highest is like 326 and my and my uh, average is around here. If I push the report, it gives you my uh, total amount that I've hashed so far and my good results, which is good. Uh, you know, 100 percent is really, really good and this program it seems running very efficiently and let me minimize that down so and the payout from what I've noticed it's about every four hours uh, here from here to here 10 to 1 so that's uh, about four hours every four hours I'm getting 50 by coin or 51 sometimes 52 the highest I've gotten so far is this 53 and it's been do doing decently well. I'm gonna continue on with this, this pool and see how it goes and see how it fluctuates. And here's here's what they give you too here as a simple rule to uh, kickstart their their mining pool. They're giving you extra rewards in return. You could go onto this website and read a little bit more. I have a highlight here. You could pause the video and read it a little bit. I'm not I'm not gonna read it for you guys. I'm gonna just go straight to the point and. That way, this video is not too long, and, and it could help you guys set up the, the program. Because the program is actually a little long to set up; it's a, a little tedious. But and it's this for this program. I find it this this program is actually a little harder to set up than uh, the uh, the let me see, minimizes the claymore miner, crypto note miner. And let me go back up. And as you can see, here's my money gear account. I was doing about. I mine about nine thousand, but this is with I was I was using roughly about eighteen hundred to two thousand uh, mega hashes per second, uh, and so this one is different from my mining pool here, where I'm average. My I'm I'm only putting about six hundred or seven hundred mega hashes per second to this pool, and it's 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 a little different from compared to mining gate. I stopped using mining gate because I, for some reason they've been giving me invalid shares with my GPU. I wasn't using a AMD GPU and I was actually using the RX uh, R RX 570 and it's been giving me invalid shares and it, it didn't pay me out for some reason so I just left this pool and said you know what uh, just screw this pool it's it's been giving me uh, a headache and I'm using I'm allocating resources to this pool and I'm not getting paid out uh, at, at the moment I allocated my 570 to a different pool and I'm actually mining um, Ubic and I can show you guys a little video too if you guys would like to know more about Ubic and just you know give me a comment below saying more information about Ubic as well. And so for here on now, uh, let's let's get started. So to get started, you're at this pool. Click on the getting started button up here, and they have two ports. Actually, they they have more ports earlier too. They have uh, 333, 777, 888, and 999. I wonder why they took out the 88 and 99. It's not here at the moment. The, for the for the eight eight and nine nine, then the nine nine actually starts you at a at a higher difficulty, which is twenty thousand. And I said this is where I set up my uh, mining rigs to at the moment too at nine at uh, twenty thousand. And I I will get the 
I put that in my description below to sit at the port, and that port still is still functional because I'm I'm running on it right now. So here are the mining applications that you can use. There's the XMR and for the AMD and for the for the CPU. They also have CPU miner and so forth, and Claymore miner. But we're gonna use this this guy right here. So I'm gonna click GitHub, and you it'll bring you to this page right here, and you scroll down. Make sure you actually get this version right here. Which I'll click right here, and it will download down here. Once it's done, it's Chrome has stopped me. But if you having difficulty with Chrome, then you can use Internet Explorer that I found that use it's it's, for, it's also very good. Internet Explorer actually lets you download the program. Chrome actually for some reason doesn't. Or you can use Firefox. But once you download it, I've downloaded it already too, so I can show you here, you guys here. Go to downloads, and it's in my uh, folder here. And then just go down, and so I'm gonna redo this again for everybody. So if you just double click on it, and you could drag it anywhere you like, um, I'm gonna just drag it back into downloads, and I'm gonna replace it. And let's go and open it up, and you you'll see these these four files here. To begin with, uh, if I recommend you guys uh, actually, um, just double clicking this. Sometimes it might work, sometimes it doesn't, and Sorry, let me go to downloads. I'll go to right here since I already extracted it here already. You run this program, and this program will populate the the coding line that you need to put onto here. For for some reason, this works very well with my i my i7 6700K. That's what I'm using to mine at the moment. It, it just open up a Word document and copy this. Just Control C, highlight it, Control C, and leave it here. You can save it. Uh, or you can come back again. I'm, I'm gonna leave it here because the next step we need you to requires you to you to restart your computer. So if you want to wait afterwards, you can wait afterwards. So the next step is to go to the config file here. We're gonna open up. It's a lot of information here. It tells you how to actually input it through here. And so what we want to do is we we actually want to put it through here. And I'll show you in 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 this video how to set it up. But the first thing we need to do is we need to actually follow this procedure right here first it unlocks your all your your CPU cores and lets you actually use your all your cores and so let's let's go here um, type in run and you wanna use this run application here and type in g let's see g p e edit dot m s c I've done this already but I'm gonna go show you guys how to do it again and you can uh, want to click here and extend it over here. So it says on your local group editor console, which is here. Uh, expand computer config and then expand Windows setting. So you go expand uh, Windows config. So Windows settings here. U user. So this is your user here. And you, mean, you open this up, and it says uh, your local group policy under editor expand. So you here, local group policy right here, and expand computer config. So user here, computer config. My apologies, wrong one. So this is computer config, and then expand Windows settings. So you want to expand this Windows setting here, and then you want to go to expand security settings, and then expand local policy. So expand security system right here, and then you go down and you click here local policies, and then you want to expand that too as well. And you, you go to user, and I believe you're, you're right. You select, and then select user rights and, and assignment folder. So let me put this here, minimize that, and right here. So user assignments, go open it up again. Then you scroll down on the right hand side here. It says right here the look of this place, the, the detail pane on the pane, double click on, on page memory. So if you scroll down here, you'll see it. So it says, uh, let's do P, right? Um, labs. Okay. So let's. I'm doing this as, as we're going too as well. So, and pain double click on lock, lock. Sorry, lock. So lock right here. So lock pages in memory. Double click that. As you can see, it's already been set up. But you go and you click. If if anything's not set up yet, you go and you click add user group. And they'll come here. You just type in your username. So if your username is your name or new user or whatever you log into your uh, Windows account with, if you don't know, 
And then you could also go to uh, this PC right here and right click to properties and they'll tell you your information here and your def it usually tells you your name for some reason it's not telling me my name hmm. interesting but it, it usually tells you your, your, your name here if it doesn't tell you then if you know what your username is then just type it in here so mine is Michael this is check name and then boom it works click OK and it follows here and click apply and OK and it will ask you to restart once you click apply OK It says, see, reboot for change to take effect once you click apply. Okay. And you will have to restart. Once you restart, I already restarted already. Let me, let's uh, close this, this account here. And this here too as well. And this one down here. And I'll show you guys how to set this up. Let me go down here. Um, I always have this one set up here already. So this is my version of it. And as you can see, you go back to the downloads here and here you go to config and as I said it here how I, I wanted you guys to copy and paste this just copy and paste this copy and starts here it starts here so you can go and paste and you could delete this part because these two are the same so just delete this part and just follow it down and delete the no part. If you don't delete the no part, the program is not going to run. So bring it up. And so this is my setting for my GPU. Every GPU is different. Uh, if you have more cores and more threads, you're going to have to uh, write for the program to it. And usually the program is very good. If you just double click it and you haven't configured anything yet, it will show you what you need to do as a start. And you could change here too. It says low power, false. You could put it to true. So it, it, this program will use lesser. GPU power, but as it does, you mine less. So it's up to you guys. You guys want to do it? You, you guys want to play with it? I so far I left it alone as as it is, and I have no trouble with it. So if you scroll down here after you do all the settings, or you scroll down here, and these I left it alone. So you use memory warn and nice hash node. Now it's it's actually false. This is where you want it to be, and if you keep scrolling down here, you'll see here. It says pool address, wallet address. And, and pool password. So, what the pool the pool address is here. Let's go back to our website and go to, to the bike one here. The pool address is is up here. Right here. So the pool address is here. Um, we're gonna use this part actually, right here. Right click. Copy. I'll leave it in the description below, and make sure you change your actual your wallet. Because if you left, leave on mine, that'd be great too. If it, you're helping me out, but you know you're not gonna get paid for it. So maybe remember to change your wallet address here. Leave the, the password as X, and I'm gonna change the pool here. Paste. Uh, I'm gonna change this to nine 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 nine, and because I know nine 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 works. I wonder why they took it off, but nine nine does work. And if you go to your Viking wallet, which I have open here copy the address here and I also have a video that shows you how to set this up too I'll link it on the description below too as well for you guys to get it going to paste it here and the password is X once you get that done then you just everything else just leave the same you, as long as you have your this this set up here and the address here and password here you click save and you're done that's all you have to do with this program here um, if you have any problem issues running to issues let me know uh, comment below or message me and we'll go from there so I'm gonna compare this one with the one I have just in case um, I do have one set up here this is mine that set up just to double compare to show you guys too as well so here you go this is the same thing to six to six let's scroll down I've left everything as it is um, here's the the address here pool address here Here's my wallet. Here's X. If you scroll down here, here's the uh, 
pool wallet. Here's my address. Here's X. We're good. It's the same thing. And uh, once you're done, you can just double click on it and it'll start. As you can see, it's starting and it's mining. I don't want it to start because I already have my old, my program here running already. It's the same thing. Uh, once it start, it'll run this, and it, your your setting difficulty was will start at, at twenty thousand, and it will change over time. Uh, as you can see here, mine started now. The difficulty is at twenty thousand. It jumped to forty one thousand. It went down to twenty nine thousand. It just fluctuates, and this is the part where I don't understand quite yet on the difficulty. And as it, as the difficulty changes you do get payout differently for the, the, the difficulty rate and this is actually completely different from mining gate because mining gate's difficulty was set to 1000 and let's see let me mining gate was actually set up to as the beginning 1000s and, and, and 63 if you go to their, their dashboard here and let's see um, is it cloud mining? no this is my dashboard Downloads. What is it? Wrong version. No, it's actually down here. So if you go down to support and miners, it shows you here. I guess not. I can't see the find at the moment, but I know it starts you a little lower. And they do, they did they have a decent payout at the moment, but now it's just. I don't know what it is. It's it's been giving me bad results with my my GPUs and and it also with my CPUs and it's been giving me a lesser hash rate. And if you can go here too, uh, let's go back here. And this is my interior hash rate here. If I enter 600, and I'm getting about oh I don't want to kill the hashes. I mean hashes. So it's it's saying that I'm getting about 500 uh, Bitcoin per day. And from my average of let's see, the 13, 13, 14, 15, 16, so 17, five days. Um, has it almost been five days? Let's see. For, I started beginning at 4 p.m. This is it's almost five days. Almost five days for me. So if I take this calculator here and I take 1764 and I divide it by five. I'm getting about 300 per day, so it's it's a lot lesser than what this is actually giving you, and uh, just because of the fluctuation of the hash rates here, I'm still trying to figure this website itself as well, and and that's that for now. And I hope you guys have a good time mining. If any questions or concerns, um, let me know, and um, I will work with y'all to get this set up for y'all and your your CPU. I'll do a video on how to do the, the NVIDIA ones. And I've been still trying to play with the uh, AMD with uh, the uh, the uh, Claymore version of it and I've been having a hard time with it. So once I get that going, I'll, I'll give you guys a, uh, another video of that. And now I'll do another video of how to set up the, the CC miner for the NVIDIA cards. For some reason, I've been trying to play with the uh, XMR uh, for the NVIDIA version here, down here, and it doesn't like it. And for the Claymore one here too, is it only supports the uh, the AMD uh, GPU at the moment. So CC Miner is what I I found to work very well with uh, the NVIDIA cards. And I will do a video about that too for all those of you who has NVIDIA cards who want to mine uh, Bitcoin. And you know, if you have any questions or concerns, let me know. Uh, like or subscribe, and also message me too as well. And I'll I'll link a few uh, links down below in the description area for my setup and uh, and also I'll link the how to set up your bike wall too below. So if you have any questions, just let me know. And thank you for your time for watching this video.